What's up, everybody? God is moving. Hallelujah. God is moving right now. God is moving in this nation. God is moving in the world. And I got my brother here who just played drums for a, a women's retreat. And the Holy Spirit was moving up in that place. And so if he wants to, to give a quick testimony on what happened there and also give you a message on unity. You want to do it? Go ahead, bro. Here, take the phone. Step over here. All right. Maybe sometimes you question if God is really real. Maybe sometimes life is so bad, you don't think you know. Well, you do know. Deep down inside, you know. God is real. And that's not just because you know that. It's because He is real. And that's not even just because I know that. God is real. And over the last 24 hours, I saw him work like you wouldn't even believe. And to tell you the truth, I don't care if you don't. You go ahead and say that that's not the same God. But there is only one God. And if you think it's not the same God because of some kind of denomination or just some kind of religious belief you have or, or the way you like to worship or the way things should be done on Sunday morning, you better wake up and smell, smell the grits. <laughs> Because God's bigger than you. And he's bigger than what you can imagine. And he's bigger than religion. And he's bigger than denomination. And he's bigger than your Sunday morning routine. I have never experienced what I experienced the last 24 hours. And I hope to God they do another one of these. And that I get to have the honor to play for it again. To be there with the people leading worship. To such a room where it caught fire the minute we were just proclaiming Jesus in song. These people weren't divided by denomination. They weren't divided by religion. They weren't divided by your stupid Sunday morning routine. <laughs> or your frivolous comfort zones. These people were united. They were united by Christ. United. If you're really a Christian out there and you really want to hate on a different kind of church because you don't understand it, hey, as a human, I get that. Hey, in the Holy Spirit, I don't. We as Christians have one thing in common, and that is the love of God. The blood sacrifice of the Lamb who was slain for each and every one of our sins, for each and every one of us, as if it was done for only each and every one of us, for each and every one of our sins. If you don't understand something, you can just stuff that down. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I was raised to where if you didn't have something nice to say, you shouldn't say it at all. Eat that. 
you roll that up in a sock and you eat that and you muzzle your face from saying something so against something you don't understand because I don't understand it all either. Some denominations and different religion, you know, like religious ways of worshiping Christ, you know, I don't understand it all either. But I was raised to keep my mouth shut and to have respect Because when the Holy Spirit is moving, and trust me, what you think you know is the Holy Spirit moving, you don't know yet. But when you really do see the Holy Spirit move, the way I just saw the last 24 hours, well, you better remember to keep your mouth shut. Yep, three hoots for the gospel. There was something so important about the respect among these women. The nourishment they got just from the gospel. The love that they had for just one another. Through their love for Jesus. You know Jesus, the one who died for us all. The one who died for every person of every denomination. For every way we worship God on Sunday morning? Yeah, that Jesus. You know, the one that you say saved you in the first place. The last couple months I've seen more hate in the church. From the church. It's... It's reviling. How how does the church hate the church so much? And what church are we hating? Now we're hating denominations, right? Well, all those different denominations and all those different religious beliefs and, and all those different ways of worshiping Sunday morning, are they not? All the different people that make up that, that Jesus died for on the cross individually, for each sin that they all committed, and died as he did it for each one of them alone. If you honestly have anything to say about that, I'm not on Facebook, so I'm never going to read it. But go ahead and post your negativity, because it's not going to be seen. And if you have a negative thought, maybe you ought to not type that. Maybe you ought to talk to that Jesus who died for you, for each one of your sins, as if he did it for you only. Maybe I ought to spend more time in prayer. And I'm the choir preaching to the preacher right now because I need to spend more time in prayer because i got a long list. But don't make my prayer list by being a negative Nancy and posting on this like... like you ain't hearing this right. Don't hate on this post just because just because it came from somebody you don't agree with. Because I know the root of this post comes from a person that you've probably seen many posts from and you probably disagree with. And you probably don't see eye to eye with because of denominations or religion or different ways that you worship Sunday morning. But let me ask you this, the person that this video is coming through, since I don't have Facebook, was he not somebody that Jesus died on the cross for, to forgive all of his sins, each and every one of his sins, as if he did it for him only?
few Christians are fighting other Christians, you're fighting the wrong battle. Stop fighting your allies. I just saw unity in the church for 24 hours. And it was by women. So I dare say, any guy that posts on this with a negative comment, you ought to tuck your thing between your legs and cluck. Because you is chicken. And you ain't half a man as much as any of these women that I just spent time with for the last 24 hours. <laughs> you got no legs to, to stand on. You... You got no gospel to preach with. I just saw unity in the church. And it was the women loving on one another, accepting of one another. If something happened, if somebody spoke in tongues, if somebody maybe delivered somebody from demons... It was okay. And it wasn't that they didn't care. It was that they didn't mind it. So maybe you ought to have the mindset of the things of God. And if you think you know the things of God, you're a human. <laughs> you can't even touch the things of God. But I'm telling you right now, what I saw in the last 24 hours, I'm thinking closer to the things of God than the people hating on the other people that are just trying to seek God through different ways of worship. Or religious ways of practicing. Or their Sunday morning worship. Just so you know, this message came from somebody who Christ died on the cross for. For each and one of my sins, every last one of them, and he did it as if he only did it for me.